all technologies have a positive side and a negative side so that's important to understand and uh, particularly in the context that many people seem to believe that when you say technology it means good technology can only do good things and you therefore you should keep putting technology anywhere and everywhere but ready for change we don't believe that because we are uh, our research also says that technology can be quite dangerous it can be quite harmful particularly for women the cyber space can be extremely dangerous space and you know um, i am on twitter and women who are on twitter politician women politicians who are on twitter they get told like anything so anybody who is a feminist and who is on twitter faces enormous uh, violence it is violence in a way it's cyber violence it's not physical violence but the mental trauma is terrible and that's technology enabled you know you can be told by anybody in the world so we are very very keen that we need to design technology in a way that it supports the uh, marginalized it supports the weaker section it supports the poor and the purpose of education also is to liberate the marginalized groups education has always been uh, you know uh, something that the privileged groups have enjoyed forever and it's only the last 30 40 years that government of india has taken up you know the previous national policy in 1986 really gave a thrust to universal education and the 2020 policy also continues on that so yeah. for us given that as a mandate we strongly believe that technology should be used to empower teachers in the education space so we are there are many people who want to deliver apps and give apps to young people and imagine that the learning will happen but given my own work in education i know that education is meaningful only when there is a good teacher supporting that process and no technology can replace a teacher so our work in the education space has really been and the nep also says that it says that use technology for teacher empowerment which means two things one is teacher development so that teachers acquire competencies to use technology fruitfully so that is one level which is the competency part the other is the agency part so teachers should have the flexibility and autonomy to decide how to use technology in the ways that is relevant for them otherwise what happens is we have centralized technology programs and there will be some dictate coming from the top saying technology should be used in this way everybody should download a diksha app everybody should use a diksha and these kind of centralized designs will not work for everybody what will work for a teacher in bihar is not going to work for a teacher in kerala what's going to work in punjab won't work in tamil nadu so unless we are able to decentralize these designs and allow teachers and schools to make decisions which technology can enable technology is not that it's only going to support centralization technology can actually allow peer networks to emerge so it right. for change work has been teacher empowerment teacher professional development teacher network so this is what i was saying is what is been the focus of it for change work also